do, and there's also the totem poles. There's also Prospect Point with amazing views of the ocean and mountains. And there's a restaurant and bar over there that offers happy hour from 3 to 5 with a variety of craft beers. So check it out. Also, there's lots of older trees in Stanley Park, over 100 years old, from Douglas fir to cedar, spruce, and maple. Now, if you have your tickets, you don't have to stand in the regular lineup. You'll just have bypass and go through the express. Also, uh, shuttles coming back, they come back every 15 minutes. They just stand in the same area as where you would purchase your tickets. They have uh, an area de designated just for the buses coming back. And just let your bus driver know where you're going to. And we should be there soon. Uh, just please remain seated till I bring the bus to a complete stop and park it. Thank you. And you probably want to get your cameras ready because we're approaching the Lionsgate Bridge. It's a beautiful day it's turned out to be, so you can take pictures. And I'll give you a little bit of history about the bridge itself. Suspension bridge did ours. The people that had it built was the Guinness family. They were originally from Ireland. They, uh, if you guys are familiar with the Guinness beer, good beer. Anyways, they purchased the bridge for a little over five million. They put a toll on it. Within a year, they resold it back to the provincial government for the same price. Not only that, they purchased 44,000 acres of land in West Vancouver at 18 bucks an acre. So West Van is to my left and uh, North Van is to my right. A lot of rich and famous Hollywood people live there, including Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. And the son plays hockey over here. Our uh, three local mountains are Cypress, Grouse, and Seymour. And as we approach the near end of the bridge, if you look to my bottom right and left, you'll notice houses there. That's First Nations land. They've been there for over 100 years. And it's the Muskeum tribe. Just the emergency doors that are flapping on the outside of the bus. It's quite windy, so actually got down, got down a bit. Earlier on, the wind was just really coming. So that's First Nations land on my right and left. 